Hey guys, it's Ellie from Elsie Bell's Bookshelf. I'm back today with my guest design team project for Ephemeris Vintage Garden. I um, love her so much. She's the first person that I watched many years ago when I started on this journey, and she inspired me to do um, to make journals. So yeah, I followed her from there, and that's it. So I have used her um, pink hankies, her purple hankies, her pink and purple postcards, and her vintage ladies um, dress cuff kits, and they are gorgeous. And so I decided to make a nature themed journal with touches of femininity using these kits. So I hope you enjoy, and let's just get in. I have this gorgeous tie-dyed sari silk closure, and on the front here I have Fussy cut some of the flowers out of her hanky kit and just made a little cluster here on the front and a little tuck spot. I have a little um, tassel here with a bird. Just a little one this time. Love this fabric. I just got this. And so the inside is a piece of cardstock and I printed one of her purple vintage hankies on that. And I love these because you can see the texture of the linen or the fabric. And um, the embroidered ones are really detailed. So here is a piece, just a cutoff I use as a tag. And then this is one of the purple postcards. Really pretty. And this is one of the vintage hankies. I mean, um, the cuffs. So you can see the detail on that as well. It's really vibrant. Okay, so I've used one of her... Um, Hankies as a page. And then I also used one as a tuck spot here for this piece. Little acorn. This is one of her um, cuffs. Love the flowers, and it looks raised, right? But it's not, it's just paper. So, really, really detailed. Made a little tag. This is just a little envelope. There's another one of her hankies I used as a page, and then I made a belly band with one of the cutoffs, and this is one of the vintage hankies, and you can see the detail of the embroidery on this one. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's another one of her purple hankies. And I left it big and folded it over to create a tuck spot on either side. This is one of the pink postcards. And it's a purple one and some vintage wrapping paper. Really, really pretty. And these might be from her own collection that she scanned. Which is pretty amazing. This is cut out from one of the vintage hankies. Gorgeous detail. So I made that on this guest check. I like how this turned out. It's a little bit different. Um, there's another pink postcard. Some more here. And this is, sorry, one of the vintage hankies. And also some more of the purple postcards. I like these ones because they're more botanical looking. So I'll with that. There's a pink one. on this page and I love this one because of the pink roses. It's so pretty. So I just made a tag out of that and then on the back is a pocket with one of the pink postcards and just a little sticker which you can use wherever. And here is one of the vintage cuffs. Again you can see the details of the embroidery and I use that as a tuck spot. And here's another um, hanky that I folded over. And then I put another one in there as a giant journaling card. So I will have both of her links below. She has an Etsy shop and she also has a website. So you can go and check these out. And then there's a little piece of one I used in a cluster. And then on the back I have the full size um, hanky here, and I just made it as a flip. So you can put a photo back there or whatever. And yeah. So thank you so much, Debbie Ann, for letting me do this. I hope you guys enjoyed this journal. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.